Hey guys, welcome to a Starlink update. You guys have asked for this in the comments over the last while. I have had Starlink right up there uh, for the last two years. It was August 2021. It cost 100 um, euros a month at the time. Now it's 65 euros a month. I did an initial review, a six week review, uh, but I haven't done a review since then. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the speed of the Starlink network two years after getting it as part of the initial Starlink beta in 2021. Now, since those initial reviews two years ago, obviously Starlink has had hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people sign up and start using the network. So it will be very interesting to see what the speed tests are today versus what they were initially with the Starlink beta. And as you can see, I do have one of the original round dishes with a very, very, very clear look at the sky. All right, guys, so as you know, my Starlink uh, runs into my attic. And upstairs I have a Starlink router, then I run a CAT6 cable down to my office here into a Google router. So I'm going to check downstairs first, then I'll go upstairs and check from the Starlink router itself. Okay? Alright, so let's check it out. I'm going to check it on Starlink first of all, of course. Speed test. This is what Starlink is giving me. It's quite a lot. So you're talking 244 down, 15 up. Now it's not really giving me a ping, so I'm going to use Ookla speed test. And then I'm going to go. Okay, so this is downstairs, two stories down from um, the attic. So I'm getting 220, 223. Now, that's fine there. It is worth noting while we're doing the upload, which isn't really very much. It's not crazy bad, but it's, yeah, it's, not, it's nothing compared to fiber, of course. Um, just to steal you away for one moment, ping is 49. I don't know if you can see that. Okay guys, so as we can see we got 241 down, 12.4 up, and just underneath the 241 you'll see the ping or the latency, that's 49 currently. So 49, to be quite honest with you, for me, it's good for gaming. If you have fiber connection, that ping is, you know, 1, 2, 3, maybe 5, you know. Um, it's certainly a far cry in terms of ping. But, you know, for your streaming services, absolutely fine, no problem whatsoever. And as I said myself, I do um, game on that comfortably. I do I comfortably game on that ping. I'm not a competitive gamer or anything like that. So it does suit me and it might not suit you. I'm sure you'll find out in the comments people's opinions anyway. Bottom line so far is that if you're in the countryside with no option of fiber yet, then this is the way to go. It is absolutely incredible. All right, guys, so let's check upstairs now. Quick note, um, I have never posted a Starlink video where somebody hasn't commented how great their own internet is, their own fiber connection. And yes, fiber is technically better, but Starlink is for someone or families <clears throat> who do not have an option. I'm in the countryside. Fiber is not going to be here until the end of 2025, maybe 2026. It's incredible for us. If you have an option of fiber, go fiber. I'll be doing the same. So I'm now switched over to my Starlink network. I was on uh, Google downstairs. It's probably not even picking it up up here. Um, so I'm on the right one. That's the five gigahertz network. I do have a two gigahertz split out and I also have a guest network. Um, so <clears throat> let's go to speed test. Let's check it out. I'm literally just under the Starlink router now. It's up in the attic and it covers all of the upstairs of the house. Ping is up slightly, it's to 50 at the moment, and we're hitting 300. That's just with the standard day one Starlink router. 290 up. And the upload is slightly up as well, not even, drops down again. Um, so yeah, I'm assuming there'll be some mixed reviews. For me, it's okay. I'm not live streaming a lot. I do some live streaming and it hasn't been an issue so far, uh, but seems okay for me and I might just run that again
57, but now we're touching over 3 again. So it's kind of up and down. It's not, as I said, it's not fiber, it's not constant, uh, but it's up to you guys. If that's enough for you, it's enough for me uh, at the moment, and uh, very happy to have it. So, yeah. All right, guys, so, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to know. I think some of you would love that, and some of you think it's not good enough. Uh, but for me, in my personal situation right now, in the countryside, uh, it's just incredible. We really, really suffered for the first year when we moved into this home um, after building it without um, an internet connection that was any good, you know? So, guys, if you have two seconds to answer the question I asked earlier about potentially uploading very different content on this channel or keeping them separate, please take a second to do so. I also just want to say a huge thank you for watching this video. If you found value in it and you want to see more in the future, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.